Welcome back guys, how y'all doing? My name is Marx and this is Daybound Season 2, Episode 13. So yeah, as you can see, um, a little bit happened there and the island is slightly different. There's still obviously some work needs doing to finish bits and mobs off. Um, like none of this over here should be stone and there's actually there's still a lot of work to be done. But we're not going to be doing that today because the last few episodes have all been over here. And um, yeah, I th think we should go and see what the other guys have been doing because I've got something planned that's going to involve everyone, whether they want to or not, it's kind of not optional. Um, in a sense, it's a little bit like Green's tag game, but at the same time, it's also not like Green's tag game. It is basically tag. Um, but it's not, it's a slight different concept that came from Dinnercraft back when I was on there with Sev and uh, Flaz and Lee and actually that's the only people that were on there from, oh yeah, Megabugfish, but he's not with us uh, this season. Now, we kind of need people's bases really for that. Because if we just did it here, it'd be a bit on the boring side because, you know, it's a room and it's going to be easy to find. So, first things first, we're going to need not that, uh, a glass pane. One single glass pane, I probably can't do it with just one. And do I have any, I do it with normal green. Awesome, there we go. Only need the one. So, this game is called Pain, as in Glass Pain Pain. Um, before we go over the details of it, we're going to go and have a look at what we've got to work with in terms of people's bases, because aside from rabbits, we don't actually know too much, because we've not seen an awful lot for a while. We've not actually been around and had a look. Um, so, from here, who's the closest? I think Magpie's the closest, so let's get some rockets. Um, and yes, that is how you efficiently dispose of rockets. So let's get a fresh stack. Because everyone's pretty close. So it shouldn't be too difficult. I know Flaz hasn't got anywhere yet, but he's only really just joined us, so that's not surprising. Hoodie's got a location, but he's lazy and he's not built anything yet. Sorry, Hoodie, just call you out. <laughs> and the first thing says we've got Magpie's place over here. See, Hoodie's spot's like gonna be around here somewhere. Don't want to do with this, so we could just hide it there if we go that, but yeah. 
Anyway, so first things first, we've got the fairy cottage core village, which is magpies. Um, along with some starter stuff still going on from like this and um, Rutherford P Road to Vegas still down there, I think. Maybe. So yeah, here we've got, and um, we can see Albany over there. Wow. That is a very large ball. An extremely large yeah so this is where magpie is currently at with her base and i know she's gonna do a lot of terraforming which is gonna make it all come together even even better and like that's gonna change and there's the wheat field who's it over there um and honestly i can't i can't wait to see it all together because at the minute it looks pretty damn incredible like how it's coming together but then when she's finished it and it's all properly done and it's not just 90% <laughs> path blocks from the iron farm it's gonna look even better I honestly really can't wait for, for how this looks in the end uh, I don't know what's going to go what's gonna stay whether like the cow fields and stuff are gonna change and whatnot hopefully they will but you know it's it's a time thing I guess and uh, we've got like the little hobbit hole, the um, sheep farm over here, which is really cool. It's just a public sheep farm. So yeah, this is Magpie's base so far. And then over here, obviously we've got Orbeans. I don't want to go too close because I know I was working on stuff on there uh, the other day and I don't want to spoil anything, but obviously his is it just, I say just, currently it is a giant spear, a giant red spear. Um, and stuff and things happening. Now, here we have. I always forget what the villa, what this is called, um. But it's it's Raven's Village, which has a whole story as to its development and everything, and how it's coming. It's one hundred percent worth watching her videos to to have a look and learn the story of how this village is growing and what builds and everything are um well we got some brilliant build over here they're not particularly my style but they are they're very good and they 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 tell their story and they they all work very well with what they are uh honestly it's probably my favorite place so far especially i love the bridge especially like the walking on it like it sounds if you, not so much on the bricks, but if you walk on, because that sounds like perfect. a little bit. But if you walk on this bit, it kind of sounds like you're walking on boards. At least to me, it sounds a bit like that. And then she's got the the sanctuary just around here as well, which is uh, alleys and frogs, and there were cats in here, not cats, rabbits in here, but like. The cat just there murdered them all because it's evil. Um, so we got a few few frogs in here. I think I could have sworn there were more. Huh. Maybe they're just hiding. They they managed to get up in the tree. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> we got one up in the, up in the tree here. They do manage to, to get in some quite obscure places. Um so yeah, this is obviously an option for, for hiding. Um and then we've got uh, Swarmy over there. Now Swarmy has only relocated the entire ocean monument because he's a madman, and you know that's something that you you just do. You know, you you relocate an ocean monument. Why not? Uh, now I know he's got something more planned to just relocating this here. He's just not got around to it yet. But even still, uh, we've got an entire ocean monument. We could potentially hide this in. And this thing's like amazing inside anyway, so that should that could actually be a pretty good option so far. Um so that's that's the options we've got at the minute, and there's one more as well, and that is Salties. Which I think he's done more to since, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, so we'll go pay a visit over there, have a look what he's got, because I know it's only small. But the area itself is quite big, so let's head over there and have a look. All right, this is what Salty has so far. It's 
his own, I mean, I want to call it his own version of a, of a village house because I don't really know what else to describe it as. Um, again, kind of small and um, fairly easy to find if we were to hide it here. However, he's using the entire area from what I know. I don't know what his base plan is. Uh, I'm going to find out with everyone else like through his videos as to what his plan is. So I'm none the wiser. I don't even know the theme or anything like that or the concept, like literally nothing about it. Um, but I do know like it's going to be the whole area. So we could potentially use the village itself over there to hide it in. If we were to hide it over here. Um, so that's an option as to, to here. But not only that, I think, because this is like, we, I've seen that before. I've obviously seen this from his video. But this is new. I don't, I mean, by the time this comes out, there might be a video on this. I'm not sure. Um, but this is just like a starter storage space from what I know. Um, so he's just got this going on down here. And there's kind of like this little fishing dock bit here at the side. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's more of an option as well, I guess. Oh, no, it wouldn't fit. I was going to say, oh, we could hide it down there, but it won't fit. Oh, that's a shame. Um, actually, this could be a good location just because, you know, it's a green one and it blend a bit. Hmm. It's an option over here. It is an option. Is that a smokestack over there? Or is it just... See it? Just above that plank over here somewhere. What is that? Something here. No, that's nothing. Never mind. They're, they're the options we have so far. Obviously, because Hoodie's not got a place, um, we can't really hide in his. We've got Raven, we've got Magpie, we've got Swarmy, we've got Rabbit, we've got Orbney, and we've got Salty. Uh, obviously, when Flaz and Hoodie actually build the, the main bases, we've got those as an option. Oh, hi, guys. Um, but until that happens, they kind of... It's not that they can't be included, but it's just not as fun because there's only a small area to, to really hide them in. Uh, so we need to go and write up the rule book and how the game works and actually explain to you guys how this game works. So let's go do that. Okay, so we've got the book ready for the main game. And it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Let's have a look. So, you have been pained. Congratulations, you have been pained. Somewhere in your base, there is a green glass pane that has been hidden. This is purely for fun. Find the pane and hide it in someone else's main base, has to be their main base, by your next episode. Place the book in, on a lectern in the person's base that you have hidden it since they are aware they've been pained. Hence, you have been pained. And then just a few rules, just so it doesn't get out of hand, obviously, it has to be placed in a place. Well, placed in a place uh, that it can be found, so you can't like bury it underground where they're never going to find it because, yeah, that's just boring and unfair. Um, two, obviously, no breaking anything, so it's a bit of a tricky one that one because, like, if you want to place it somewhere that you can't quite reach, that's visible. So, say for example, there's a space behind another piece of glass or something. As long as you still touch it to place that back afterwards, it should be okay, I guess. But like, no breaking anything that's gonna break break like grass or stuff like that. Because just no. Um, and then three. Asking for hints is allowed, so if that person cannot, for the life of them, find the pain anywhere in their base, and honestly, that it's a bit of a selfish one because I know that when my base is done, it's going to be extremely difficult to find. I think it's it's not even going to be funny. 
Um, so yeah, a little selfish on that side. Um, so yeah, that's that's rule three really. Um, the asking for hints is allowed. So if you if you can't find it after like a week or whatever, then yeah, I suppose you should be able to ask if the person who hit it wants to let you know a hint or something. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to think of something a little bit more concrete for that. But with that, we actually need to go and hide the pain in someone's base. And I know who I'm going to do it to. So I'm going to go hide it and place down the lectern. I'm obviously not going to show you where I hide it because if the person watches the video, then they're going to know where it is. So I'll be back once I've hidden it. And yes, that means that somewhere in Magpie's village, the starter village place that this is, there is a single green pane hidden somewhere. So Magpie, you have been pained. Um, there really should be a rule that you can't pain the person that pained you, but there's no intention to let the person you pained know you pained them. I just felt like letting them know I pained it. So Magpie, you've been pained. Somewhere in this village, there is a green glass pane. Um, so you are the person that is pained. You are the next person to pain someone. So have fun with that. <laughs> with the pain being hidden, I think that is actually going to be it for this episode. A lot of time has actually gone into it with taking down that hill. And we've started something on the server. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one where hopefully we'll get some base work done or start a new minigame that I've got an idea for. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.